Welcome to week four. So this week we're switching into a new module and you'll see that in there and we're focused on what I call a design project. So I say this all over, but we have a design department I'm pointing towards their building. Um, the goal here is not to replace any of that or to get anywhere close to that. Our goal really is designing words within the content to do work in the world. So as you read in the chapter, this class is based in rhetoric. What is the situation? What does the situation call for? And how do I respond appropriately through text, through images, in the right space? And so what we're doing in this module is I've created a case study for you to then respond to. There are pieces of it that are required to use the name of the company. I assign it. I require the specific name that I use because it doesn't actually exist. The name of the television show. I assign it, I made it up because it doesn't actually exist. I check this every year. I don't want us to fake announce the cancellation of something in a real space like Tumblr. That's a terrible thing to do in real social media. I don't want to put you in that position. I don't want to create bad content. You need to follow the directions. Beyond those two requirements, you get to make up the genre of the show and you get to make up the details of what's going on surrounding this obviously needs to be class appropriate. Beyond that, you have a lot of leeway and a lot of choice and a lot of creativity in here so that you're comfortable creating the content the way that you want to. So make sure you read um, the design project part one and part two. There is then a second sheet that provides all of the information on the audience analysis, which is a required part of part one. Then I've got a couple additional notes specifically on the idea of hashtag so that you really start to work some of those ideas into your design project so that it's not just the content, it's not just the words in the sentences and it's not just the images within the space, but it's also how you're getting that message to the readers that you want to actually read it. And then there's information on style guides because you will be creating a style guide. The Tumblr post prompts are in the week four overview, so make sure you check that. And when I say that, check that below because it's right below this video. If you have any questions, you can send me a note through Tumblr, you can send me an email, you can stop by office hours. I'll see you online.